Hi, I'm, I'm Terry, and this is Sludge Life behind the scenes. This, this is the entire map, everything is built in a single scene, and it was very fun to work on this way, but it was also pretty confusing at times. Um, everything is kind of jumbled up on top of each other, and I did try organize it in ways, but um, since I did not have much planned out from the start, a lot of it is just about chaos and um, trying my best to organize things. I did have the level geometry itself um, layered, so each layer of geometry is a different game object, so you can have different parts of the map and disable and enable those so that I can work on things like this building which has all the different levels. The, the one thing that made this um, easy to work with and, and pleasant was this level design tool that I'm using called real-time CSG. And for example, I would start a new uh, area. I, I would call this like a little island because it's not connected to the other ones. And I would just duplicate like a base layer and then I just start using these same walls and, and ceilings that I have from other areas so everything kept to the same dimensions which I through trial and error found that worked well with the with the character controller so I would like this just kind of duplicate the walls and you can these are all brushes so you, you can have the brush be something that adds or subtracts from the geometry. So in this case if I set to subtract you have this window which not only can you jump through but it's easier if I'm in playtesting and I find that this window is too low or too high or too big or too short I can easily tweak it and not get stuck in this little detail of the world. That was very important because it took me quite a bit to build the entire thing. You, not only the, the geometry, but the, the textures also come from this one. This one, so it, it was a mix, though. So I had this geometry that was built in the engine, and I had all the details that came from an external modeling tool. In my case, Blender. So like, you, I could build a little structure and then add some props here, so the the player could jump up the this boat and get on top so let's add like a, a barrel just as like a step I'm not really worried about it fitting well usually I'd be like trying to get everything to look natural but let's say this this works and I would do something like this I'd add all the little props, the NPCs or even the, the little tag spots and afterwards you just hit play and see how that looks so I'm gonna do that now but I'm gonna cut because it takes a while for it to actually play okay so now we're in play mode you can see our structure here it looks great and since we use the walls from the other area it fits and the carpet worked really well as you can see and that's it. And that's how the entire level was built. Thank you.